Alrighty guys, this is going to be um, the first step on taming or training your pet up. So I've got this one to 100%. And when that happens, you'll come down here and you'll just click pet training options. A few things to notice though, is once I got it past level 2 onto getting to level 3, Harry showed up. So you'll notice that that will show up when you begin training your pet if it doesn't have it already. Um, but the first things that I always start with, all of these over here, are going to be hit point regeneration. Definitely want that. Just train it all the way up. We want stamina regeneration. And everything we can get on that. And we also want mana regeneration. So you don't want to use... Do base damage yet because you don't have the levels that need to get the full base damage to get out of the pet. So I'll always wait till the last, you know, five slot training to do that. But some other things you can do on your first level of training here is you can obviously you want to look through everything and kind of see what the pet has. But one of the main things that I like to do is my survivability, which is going to be buffing up your physical resistance. Get that to 80. See, our cold resistance is down at 10. So that's pretty low, as well as poison. So um, I don't want to end up blowing every one of my points on trying to get these up, and everything else is going to be just mediocre. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buff up my fire resistance because I'm constantly fighting dragons. Energy resistance, we'll get that to 60. So you can do that right here and then we'll do cold and poison like cold is only at 10 so i don't want my guy to die of living out here get that to 80 but now look you only got 25 points Let, let's go ahead and put this at now when we go to poison you'll see something a little different you can only get this to 50 Okay, because we're, we'll have to work on that level. So in order to continue with your training, we'll have to zero this. So what I like to do is just look at the stats that I have, look at the you know hit points, mana mana you have. I know I'm going to want more hit points. One of the main things on this one is I'm going to make it a caster pit. Good man. Go ahead, bump it up one point because. Pretty much the only stat you could. When you do that, it'll say down here again. You have to click the training. And again, pop this out. Do one. And at that point, you are all set on going out and all the eggs. Slot. Alrighty guys, we've got up to training we need. So let's go ahead and animal lore again. Down here, 100%. Pet training. So last time we did the base regeneration stats. We did the resistance stats. I think we put one point <laughs> into mana. So this time, we are going to look at the actual base stats themselves. So this thing's already got 546 strength and 575 intelligence. So that's really good. So let's see what we can do. Buff these up a little bit. So I can get up to 666. We're going to... No, we're not going to do that. And we'll do 650. That's weird. 
And then we'll get our intelligence up if we can. We may be capped. Yeah, we can't do any more on our stats other than we'll do 671 intelligence. And as you can see, we've still got 1,100 points here. So what we're going to look at now is we're going to get the mana up. Stamina is already real good. I like to go with 1250 or 1500 mana. We'll do 1250. And hit points we definitely need to work on because hit points are pretty low. Let's see here. That actually is pretty good. 621. Let's see if we can. Around, yeah, we'll do 621. Okay, so with those stats right there, 620 health, 1250 mana, 242 stamina. Let's get the stamina up to a good number as well. Like more round. Oh, can't get stamina is already maxed. Okay. So as you can see here, we're getting to the point now where we're kind of maxing out some of these base stats. Looks like our property right now on this is also maxed out for this level. So let's go ahead and go back. And let's see what we can do for, but yeah, let's go ahead and put the rest into the hit points anyway, do the last three. So we'll train this up. Now we've got 621 hit points. So once again, you're gonna to wanna to hit begin animal training. Pop this out here so we'll have it ready. And we will go on to the next training and the next one is going to be the special moves and any kind of uh, skill scrolls we're going to put into it. So I will see you guys back when we get to that point. Okay, I'm back, and this is the fully trained, or at least fully EXP'd up Phoenix. So once again, hit Animal, animal Lore, go over to Pet Options, and now we're going to start looking at what our final things are going to be on our pet. So let's look here. Magical abilities, you got everything from Chivalry. Since we already have Majory, you can increase it to Majory Mastery. Um, that's pretty much the only two I really see people using that in poisoning. I'm going to be building this pet to go for, um, AOE stuff at the champ spawns. So we're going to go with poisoning. As you can see, it takes 100 points to get. Right. Now that we have poisoning, we're going to go for the things that are going to give us the most damage on um, AOE stuff. So looking through the special abilities, you're not gonna see anything here that's going to get that. What you're gonna wanna do is go to special moves and you're gonna wanna look for Okay, so poison breath is the next one you're gonna wanna get. Takes 100 points, train pet. And the next one you're gonna wanna get is whirlwind. Let me see where I can get Frenzy and Whirlwind right here. These are going to give you the highest amount of damage AOE wise that you can do at these champ spawns to go ahead and obviously be of the most help or in some cases even be able to solo them. So um, next I'm going to go over to my other house and take a quick look at what I've got my book of skill scroll there and if you don't have the right skill scrolls don't sweat it just hit up the vendor search and you can find everything you need there there's always you know, plenty for sale um, and with your new bougie pet you'll be able to go and farm as much gold as you need to get that stuff and you can do it little by little you're on your last you know training process you can leave remaining points as many as you want and do this little by little if you're just trying to save up money 
or you can hit them all at once if you've already got this. First thing we're going to look at is poisoning and frenzied whirlwind. whirlwind. So that's going to be we only need to really pump up ninjutsu. So we'll do ninjutsu, meditation, focus, parry, anatomy, resisting, tactics, and rest. Let's see what I've got available here. Anatomy, okay, we've got 1115, perfect. Tactics. So, resisting spells, that's going to be imagery. have anything for anatomy, so we'll have to get that from here. I will need to get a 115 parry from here. Go ahead and do that right now. Here in miscellaneous, power scrolls. First one we need is anatomy. Usually these are the little bit higher ones. You're looking at, um, to get a 115, you're probably going to be somewhere in the ballpark of 80,000 up. Sometimes you can get lucky, so always check through here. See if somebody's trying to undercut the competition. This one's 75,000. That'll work. And then parry. Here, see what we got. Definitely want to also check these things. For example, I used to put a bunch of my stuff on the vendor for 15k, and only 15k, regardless of what it was, 115 and down, just because it's kind of fair for. I mean, I'm sure that some people could buy it and flip it, but new players need to have the opportunity to buy this stuff. Let's see here, we're looking at 185,000 for Harry 150. But that's okay. We'll go ahead and grab that one too. And then let me see if I've gotten in this thing. Sure do. Okay, so we need meditation and focus as well. So let's try to see if we can find meditation. Boom, got one. And focus. Focus should be. Man, I'm lucky. I got all these in here. Okay, so um, everything we've got now, we'll go ahead and boost up on the pet that we need. I don't believe you're going to need Majory or e Eval on this character anymore, or this pet anymore, because you gave away the actual um, skill Majory. So let's go ahead and pop this back up. And increase magic skill caps first. We're going to be doing focus. 115. As you can see, it takes too many points. We're down to 685. But that was only 15 points. Not bad. Also do ninjutsu. Team as well. And meditation. Combat. Wrestling, we're going to need 115 on. Did I not do wrestling? Oh, okay. So we got to find a wrestling one second. The one thing about taming is if you ever thought you were going to be able to save up money, the odds of that are probably none um, in the beginning while you're doing this with your pets because it does take a substantial. If you're buying the scrolls, if you're able to go and um, get the scrolls yourself at the camp spawns, that is a way better way to do it. As you can see, these are, I mean, you're getting up here in price already. So 125 looks like it's going to be the cheapest one. Get that. Go back into training here. Back to combat, wrestling, 25, or I'm sorry, 115. Then, back into tactics, back into anatomy, and if you want to go 120, obviously that is your prerogative. Um, I'm not 100% sure on this pet yet, so I didn't want to blow, you know, just a tremendous amount of money on it. Obviously you can if that's... 
So it looks like the only thing we're missing is resist. Negative. Hit that one. You're definitely going to want <clears throat> your pet to last as long as it can in battle. So, um, all of these will raise fairly quickly um, with using your pet. So, uh, but this is how I've, I would have built this pet out. I've got 250 points left if I ever want to max it out to, to 120s. Um, and that is exactly where I would be. Let me see. I didn't check base damage. See if there's anything more we can do. Okay, so as you can see, last level we couldn't do anything. Now we can raise it up, and so now we're going to have 235 points remaining. But our base damage is going to go from 20 to 25, up to 24 to 33. So now we are completely done. You can add other things to your your animal. Um, the only thing to think about is you've got three moves here that your pet's going to be cycling through. Uh, to get the most damage efficiency, I have found that the lower you have special moves, the more your pet will actually do. Just keep that in mind. And what we are going to do now is work on training the pet up. So what we'll do is we'll go into an area that's going to have, you know, a mob with extremely high HP. So we've got Core the Sorceress here. And what we're going to do is, very simply, we're going to take her over here. And we are just going to let my pet go to town. And in doing so, pet is going to gain skill. So since we've got several things over here hitting the pet and everything else, we're going to go ahead and whisper the pet as well. Ah, he took all my mana. Uh, let me get back in. But the whisper will allow your pet to gain skill tremendously faster. So if it is available for you to do, you definitely want to take advantage of it. Because it'll help the pet out. Whisper, whisper, whisper. There we go. Now I'll try to keep it alive. But uh, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll just sit here on Cora for a bit, and then we'll look back at our pet and we'll see that still he's got his spring. So yeah, as you can see, we're already at 102 here, 104 here. So by the time Cora is probably dead. Oh wow, 115 meditation and focus already. So yeah, it's extremely fast. But um, you can do that other ways as well. I just prefer to use core because it's you know she's got so much HP that by the time the the bosses or the fight is actually over, you know typically your pet is all the way skilled up or at least on the way very quickly to. And that is pretty much all I've got for this video. Um, the next one we're gonna go over. It's going to be part four, and it's going to be entailing the entire process of honor taming, which is going to be where to find the honor, or where to find the mobs to give the most honor, and then how to honor tame an animal, um, and also some things that I've done personally that have completely messed up the whole scenario that uh, I can show you guys. That way you don't have the same mistake. So see you in the next video.